That was good, YouTube. It's your man Ronan. Back at it again. Got another video. And before all that, it's self explanatory. This is your ticket to the A game lifestyle. You use the code Ronan10 to join us. Live to get that energy, vitality, strength, and libido. So that way, be a beast in the streets and a warlord in the sheets. But that being said, Today's conversation is going to deal with brotherhood and the ties that bind. Now there's a honest question you need to ask yourself because um, before I get into that, brotherhood by definition is a band of in males or men. Now the differences start growing depending on what that uh, unit is founded on. Now, I give a shout out to my old unit in the Marine Corps. I'm going to salute to, uh, you know, 1-1, one, one, you know, and I'm going to leave it at that. There's some solid good uh, brothers I met from across the globe. And, um, you know, you know, a lot of us lost touch. And, and send special condolences to uh, Lance Corporal Wilson, who was my A-gunner. Um, you know, some solid people I met in that time in my military uh, career. And even some of the brothers, uh, fellow veterans, you know, uh, you know, some I'm not going to mention your names, but you already know what it is. Um, salute to you guys, you know, um, definitely you know how it is as veterans. But you got to ask yourself this question: Are is the circle I'm with a gauntlet of greatness or an echo chamber of fragile egos? Now, if it's an echo chamber of fragile egos, you will have individuals who don't know the power of confidentiality, trust, um, respect. Because in many ways, they don't reflect that amongst each other. They will use every and other means to hold information just enough to destroy themselves and each other. They don't produce anything constructive, and anything they do produce never stands. And then that's by design because any relationship business or otherwise requires a level of trust and confidentiality and confidence consistency work effort you got to build systems order and structure in order to make it happen now they do possess that but it's in a twisted fashion their system is a chaos order is a bad word. Can't nobody tell them nothing. But that's what you expect from male hyenas. They used to be backbitten, treating each other and themselves like shit. And structure, I mean, you can have something, but it wasn't meant to last. That's why, as hard as they run together, they'll get in public and embarrass each other. And that's where you see all the secrets spill out. But Although it is tragic comedy, it is a learning tool. It's a necessity where you go on the other side, where you have a vetting process, not just of yourself, but your peers. Because who you surround yourself with is a reflection of you and your values and how you view yourself. As a fellow mass and mercenary, you know, and even some, you know, the guys that run with 5150, you know, and other the groups I've mentioned, their systems, order, and structure. Some loose in certain areas, but I'll say example for the mass and mercenaries and black men vent. Um, that's what it's about. And the A-game family especially. We're talking about lifestyle, but we're talking about um, representing ourselves and each other. In public and in private. It has to be that level of consistency. See, when you see um, greatness within each other, that level of envy is not there it's not supposed to be there the problems arise when we see a brother who we keep giving advice and supporting because we we're only as strong as our weakest link and he tends to refute i mean fight against that we can't have that because as in the movie 300 you know you you're only as strong as the man to your left and your right and if he drops your shit and he cuts through the phalanx is broken see 
as sheep say sleep and the said salute to him you gotta find your role and stay in it in many ways I don't tend to be up in the front I tend to do my thing tend to be quiet but in instances I need to speak on things I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it in support just as they will and that's how you build that confidence in the crew you're with we can speak on things we work on things you know we tend to forgive ourselves and each other if there's an issue we make those channels available to where we can go back and forth hash the shit out we have to box it out so be it but we're gonna handle it that's what brotherhood is supposed to be it's supposed to be a gauntlet of greatness it's not easy but you gotta take each other and yourself seriously in many cases so I should be able to you know be around a group of peers that we sit there and tease each other in private but celebrate each other in public or you know as with uh, DS1's comedy hour yeah we can talk shit but again it's like you'll never sit there and see a shit on each other in a public forum like that because if there's ever an issue we already know just a phone call away and if it's that serious we're gonna make it happen but we're making points not to get that far <laughs> then you start thinking about how's your money move now that's a major difference between the question I asked before because in many cases you got individuals who will cap for clout they will get super chats because they monetize bullshit and create it look at the topics they come up with look at the things that they stick to look at the antics that they publicize um, and what they do in private they move different they're built different they think different but demanding similar results as the other group the ones that work you know for what they want they despise instant gratification other than business deals look we're gonna close this deal let's make it happen if there's an issue with what a person has to say it's not being on a public circle jerk look man I got a problem let me holler at you we learn about conflict resolution handling business as men that's one of many major differences now I didn't want to make this long but we should make this a common practice like personally assessing who we are and who we're around because every day that's a life or death situation because you got a bunch of F-19s that like to slither in and want to be like the men who are productive because they see the results but it's not within them to maintain it they don't want to play their part and you're getting tired of these little social media or sexual platonic carpetbaggers who want to come in here and take all the benefits and run the fuck off things that they didn't earn and that's a major problem we gotta start making separation between the two if you're a snake be a snake if you're full of shit be full of shit but keep that shit over there because if it's found out you're gonna be called out just like a pino just like a lot of these idiots out here who like to hide on and offline and do certain things because we live in this generation of participation trophies you don't take uh, you don't pay homage or stock to putting in the blood sweat and effort to become better to earn your keep you got too many mama's boys with a thumb in their ass you know bitching and complaining because the other guy has earned his thing you know I don't see no point in me that's a bitch made trait so if you got a tattered man hymen that's your problem you need to fix that or get a better thicker pad and keep it pushing but this discussion we need to have in a chat room or even videos and like we need to keep this ongoing because in the renovation of the space we're going to have to address such issues because that's why in many years I've been here and there's many peers who share my same sentiment that's why we haven't gone anywhere because we're not on code we're not talking about the most important things you got too many dudes who are worried about where they can get a piece of ass and nothing less we need to make an exodus out of never never land and get what's rightfully ours and what is due to us above all else overall respect period 
So we're gonna get back into man shit. That's our job. You can't sit there and wear the title of red pill when you're doing jelly bean shit. That that's you that's that's the difference. You can't do that. See, we know what the fuck we're supposed to do. It's not just knowing, it's acting accordingly. It's supposed to move forward, not stand in the way. Unless it's in the defense of the of the right and just. Period. So Again, I asked that question when it comes to brotherhood. Are the people you're around a gotten in a greatness that challenge you to be your better self and each other to rise as a collective and stand on something that will stand beyond you when you pass away? Or is it an echo chamber of fragile egos? A group of backbiting, boneyard, musty, tender dick motherfuckers who want to waste time, energy, and resources and demanding respect that they don't earn. It's your choice. With that, <clears throat> never let your comfort zone become your coffin. And it's always better to be a warrior in the garden rather than a gardener in the middle of a battlefield. Peace.